Hello there, welcome back. My name is Slingam. Thank you for watching this video today. We will be trying to make a connection from Putty running in our local windows to the Linux running in the cloud. For this video, I am going to use Amazon uh, LightSail. My Linux instance is running there, but uh, the concept which you are going to see in this video remains the same for uh, any cloud service provider, whether it is Google or Vulture or DigitalOcean or whatever it is. This is my console. I am opening up uh, LightSail. I already have my instance running. Generally, when you go to your account, whether it is EC2 or Amazon LightSail or whatever it is, you can go to the SSH. And from the SSH key, you will be creating a new key value pair. There will be a default key value which is available for the region which you have selected as well. Now, the problem is uh, this custom keys will be implemented into the new instances that you are going to generate, which means that I already have an instance running. Now, if I create a new key value pair, this will not be applied on the already running instance. So, that is one of the primary reasons why we always face this uh, error. Let me try to create one so that we can see how the error appears. I am selecting the region and I am creating, I am giving a name called testme. And for the first time, it will allow me to download the private key. I have downloaded the private key now. The first and foremost step is open up putty gen, which is not putty, but you need to type putty gen, which is the generator. Now here we will load our key. The one that I have downloaded is in my local. Usually it will be uh, in PPK format, change it to all files. And test PM is there. I have downloaded the test PVM. Remember that the key command should be imported iPhone open SSH key. It could be anything else, but just keep this one as imported open SSH key. There are two SSH1 and SSH2. You can try any format that you want, SSH1, 2, whatever it is, you can try any format you want. Now save the file and uh, yes, I'm going to save it. In the same downloads, I'm saving it as test PEM and I have saved it. Now let us open the putty itself and I already created uh, the host IP address. Where do we get the host IP address? Go to your instance which is running wherever you have kept it and from here you will be able to see your host IP address. For me the host IP address is here which is uh, 3 is to 1.2 is to blah 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 and I have copied it and I have put it here with the port is 22 I gave, gave some name and after I select this and load I need to go to connections SSH auth credentials. Remember if the screen is different from uh, what you are seeing in here just remember to upgrade or update your putty configuration. Mine is running at 0.81 version whichever is the latest at the time of you watching this video just use the latest version. Now let me browse and go to downloads test ppk open usually it will ask for the login as. Now this depends upon which Linux OS you are using. Now, where can we find this uh, username? Go to your console, open the light sale, and whichever connection you are having there, the place where you uh, saw your IP address, you will find connect using an SSH client, or you can just Google it and find it out. This is the documentation from AWS itself. Now, open the AWS itself on the left hand side, you should see somewhere like connect to Linux instance with Putty. Okay. Go down, it could be in different places as well. You could see that for Alma Linux, which I am using now, it is easy to iPhone user. If you are using Debian, Ubuntu or something, your username will be different. Do remember that it depends upon the username. I am going to use easy to user because I am using Alma Linux. In your case, choose whichever you are using. So easy to user, it should throw me an error saying that server refused our key. Even though we created the SSH key directly from within the light side or AWS console, we still have the error. Why? Like I said before, the keys are created after our instance was created, which means that our instance was already up and running and then the keys was created later. So which means that these keys are not directly applied into our instance. This is primary reason one why the key was not working. So always do remember whenever you create a key directly from the AWS console, this will only be applied if you are going to create a new instance, not to the already existing instance. This is reason number one. So this is a reason number one. Now let's go ahead now. Now I already have an instance, but I still need a key to be working. So let me delete the one that I have created because anyhow it is not going to be applied to the existing one. So let me delete all the keys. The next step is I need to create another key. 
where can I create the key? There are multiple ways how we can create an SSH key. But the easiest way is if you already have the instance up and running, just open up your instance directly from the AWS console. There we go. And now uh, let me show something. Uh, inside my AWS home, I am in the easy to user. So you will be seeing Ubuntu users or something else different based upon what you are using now. SSH keygen T. Now there are multiple ways of creating the keys. So RSA is there, ECDSA is there, multiple ones are there. I will always prefer the latest one. So what are these things? Let us take a look at them. I opened up the SSH.com. Uh, you could find anywhere else as well, which says that RSA is an old algorithm. DSA is also an old algorithm. So EC DSA is a new algorithm which is uh, authorized, which is standardized with the US government. So let us try this EC DSA. There are multiple bits available for EC DSA: two fifty six, three eighty four, and five twenty one bit is the latest. Or uh, should I say, not latest, but the highest uh, form of encryption available there. So let's go ahead and use ECDSA format and I, I will say that my bit is 521. Okay, it's generated it, it's asking me for a name. I will say test me and there is no password. If you want to give, you can use the password, it's up to you. Now this is done, clear and list and i have got my test me and test me that pub pub is for public so now there are two steps involved first we need to take this test me and then we need to create the ppk file in our putty so let's open up test me and uh, just copy this file now remember this says begin open ssh private key it doesn't say begin rsa private key let me uh, since i'm in a uh, console i can directly right click and copy I open up a notepad file and i'm pasting it here now let me save it to my local. I'm saving it as uh, test file dot uh, pm. Now remember this private key should be really private. You should not be displaying it like this. But anyhow, I will be deleting this private key shortly, so it will not work for you in case even if someone tries to access my server. Now let's open Putigen. 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 Now remember the format is ECDSA. It's not. Um, RSA it is ECDSC and then let us load the file. It will directly come from uh, downloads and let us open up uh, all files and see it as file.pem. And this is successfully in my importer and everything is done. Now that we have imported the key and everything is perfect, you should be able to see this one and save the private key because we are actually working on the private key now. And I'm not going to put a test here. So I'll just say test pm2.ppk. Now that is done. Let me try to open up the putty again. Putty. This time I have uh, loaded the same one, but instead of the previous uh, authentication credentials, I'm going to now. Let me load the file which we have saved now, which is uh, ppk2. Now remember, this will also not work. You know the reason why. Let me save it. Open. Easy to user. Easy to user. It will again say this is not available. You know the reason why? Because we created the private key, which is fine. We are also converted everything perfectly. But the public key is not yet uh, implemented or added into our SSH in the instance. Let's go ahead and add it in the instance. So let me clear my screen here and uh, let me put ls. So this is the file testme.pub. So cat testme.pub. And I will be able to see the file here. Okay, this is all fine. Now let me copy the file. This is in three lines now. Remember, I'm just copying it directly from my console. So it is in three lines. I'm opening up here in a notepad, pasting all of them down and uh, delete, uh, which means I'm just, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm just removing the lines. So. so I'm going to end off each line. And I'm just uh, making them all in single line. So how do I do that? Let me remove the word wrap and see and ensure that everything is in the same line. So since now I know that it is in the same line, I'm copy it and go to my CDS and uh, LS. Remember, I need to be in uh, sudo format. So sudo. Uh, no, for this you don't even need to be in sudo. So next step is uh, uh, list. Generally, list will not show you the dot ssh. So list all which will show you dot ssh folder here dot ssh then open dot ssh cd dot ssh and it is not a cd dot ssh and uh, inside the folder you will file the, find a file called authorized keys let me clear the screen and uh, open 
authorize keys file and you could see that I have uh, multiple files here one file two file three file so go ahead down so next step is press i which means insert and i put uh, double enter and uh, here i'm going to paste the newly created uh, file which is which starts at E C D S A blah 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 and now the next step is uh, press escape so that this insert goes away now i'm going to give colon you could see in the bottom here the command w q which means write and then quit write and then quit since i know i've made everything done. let me clear the screen once the next step is uh, system control this step might be differing uh, based upon which uh, server you are which linux instance you are using since i'm using a uh, red uh, red hat linux based one so i have system control uh, restart sshd but it will be different for you maybe it could be like sudo service restart or sudo service something so basically you should be having a service called ssh and you should be restarting that service it depends on which instance of linux or which version of linux you are using so let's say restart this and authentication is required. so let me say i need to be in sudo sudo su system control restart ssh to so when i have restarted it now before we proceed further there is one more important step to do which is our uh, second check we need to check our ssh uh, config file where can we find the config file go to cd etc and inside which you should be able to find the uh, ls so let me clear the screen and directly go to cd etc ssh and when I list it, I will be able to find the file called SSH config. Uh, this one, the second one. So let's say v sshd underscore config. Okay. So the moment I open the file, you could just see that it is going up, 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 and so many things are there. The password authentication, you should be finding this password authentication somewhere. Okay. Here it is uh, above the. Um, uh, GSS API options you find the password authentication so I press insert go down to that setting yes just say yes and press escape slash write and quit that's fine now one more thing just do the same for SSH config SSH config go down it is there itself so let me remove it and escape write and quit clear system control restart sshd that's perfect so now what we have done we have created a public private key pair using the ssh key gen and after that is created we took the private key and uh, used it in putty to generate the dot ppk files and copied the public key and uh, in added it into the authorized keys uh, now let me open up putty we don't need to do anything we just need to load it and open because we already have set up everything ec2 user and there we go we are now authenticated and we are inside so this is how we connect to ec2 or any other uh, instance for that uh, matter i hope this made some sense thank you so much for watching see you again